Hello, Gemini. It's my lady from Ladies Way Terry, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading, weekly love reading. Okay. So, some honesty is coming out this week. Weekly love reading for the week of 9 24 through October 1st, 2017. All right. Somebody's moving out. Somebody's telling somebody they're moving out. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the um yeah Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my um, Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. So yeah, it seems like somebody is moving out because they they feel like they're giving too much and and not receiving enough. All right, um. I don't know what I said, but thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings if you want one. Um, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. All right. What's going on for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. For love reading for September 24th through October 1st, 2017. What's going on for Gemini? Gemini, September 24th. Fourth through October first, two thousand seventeen. Love reading. All right. Let's see what you guys have in store. All right. Yes, yeah, somebody is uh, letting go right then. I just felt hurt. I felt anxiety. I felt like somebody is letting go and they really don't want to. Okay. I feel. Oh, yeah. Like my eyes are. You know how I feel when your eyes are getting red. Mm. All right, yeah, and they letting go because things are becoming burden. Like I can't, I just can't do it anymore. Ooh. So I'm feeling like maybe someone that for some of you it might be a new relationship, and then some of you it may be you know a pregnancy. You know, we're going to clarify that. What's this fertility about? What's this fertility about for the Gemini, Gemini, Gemini for the week? Of, okay. Okay, so it seems like it could be a new beginning or you guys just moved in together. Or it might be a new situation and this person is violating your personal space. All right. All right, what's going on with the Gemini? All right, yeah, it seems like yeah, the honesty again. You like you, you coming out like this is coming to be too much for me. Um, you know, I I do want to be with you, you know, but I can't stand the way you live. Yeah. Um. Either you, yeah, you you definitely letting go, moving out, or this might be happening to you. Mm -mm. I just heard somebody's a slob. So, it seems like um, you may be a bit of a manipulator here, but I feel like you're manipulating this person to do the right things, like just showing them, like, don't don't leave this here. Don't um, go over here. Like, you're trying to steer them into being more neat, but they not listening. Okay? They don't care. All right. So, this is basically saying the reason that you're moving out may just be an unwise decision at this point in time because I feel like it's still new. You got to get to know them. At least give them a chance to um, change, you know? All right. What's going on for the Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Gemini love reading September 24th through October 1st, 2017. September 24th through August 1st, 2017. Gemini, love reading. What's going on? Mm. Alright. Sorry, I'm a bit OCD here. <coughs> so, sorry about that. Right now, you feel like somebody is just not working hard enough, or maybe you could be on vacation, or, or but to me, it feels like in this reading that somebody's not working hard enough, and you feel like you're trapped with this person. Of course, you got somebody in your house, 
and you possibly got OCD and you like things done a certain way and you, you feel like you can't leave because you got to clean up after this person and make sure they're doing the right thing. All right, so then we got the hermit. You're like really contemplating what you should think about this. Like the messiness of this person has definitely got you feeling like, um, uh, oh, and they not paying bills. Okay. Uh, messing if it's making you feel like, I don't know, just making you feel like you're trapped, you're prisoner. What, what should you do? You know, depressed. All right. So, read these straight out the book. We got seven of coins first. All right, the seven of coins is reversed. It says... Um, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sorrow. The importance of money is freedom. Do not let the money imprison you. So I feel like this person moved in with you so you can save money. Mm, but it's saying it's an unwise decision up here. To let this person go. But it's basically, it's on you. It's like if, if this person is just being too messy, you just got to let them know. But... Don't don't make, let yourself feel like you you trapped somewhere because you can't deal with somebody's mess, you know. But I think that's where this honesty kicks in. You're gonna be like, hey, you need to clean up after yourself or find somewhere else to go. All right, now we got the hermit. Hermit, hermit, hermit. All right, or or get out, whatever way. So the hermit says, a time of being alone, a time away from the world. Look at your life and consider it carefully. Rest and relax. Find the answers. Loneliness may occur and betrayal by others may occur. Heal. So that brings me back to I saw the Knight of Coins reverse. It's like somebody taking a sweet time paying you after you didn't let them come in your house and y'all was supposed to be splitting everything. Yeah, it's kind of pissing you off. All right, so we got the Ten of Coins reversed. And that says, um, a card of violation, death, some kind of gambling, and thrill-seeking. Wow. So this person is not only being a mess in your house. Um, they are there with an addiction, like gambling or shopping or whatever, you know, just spending their money on other stuff and, you know, paying their bills late. And you're like, really? But. Hopefully you got the answer from this video. Uh, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you're on a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a great week. Oops.